type of leader I intend to be. Have you seen President Trump? Biden since his comment last night about garbage? Uh, listen, I think that, first of all, he clarified his comments. But let me be clear, I strongly disagree with any criticism of people based on who they vote for. It's, uh, you heard my speech last night and continuously throughout my career. Uh, I believe that the work that I do is about representing all the people, whether they support me or not. And as President of the United States, I will be a president for all Americans, whether you vote for me or not. That, that, that is my money? responsibility, and that's the kind of work that I've done my entire career, and I take it very seriously. Have you spoken to him about his comments and, and his I, uh, He did call me last night, but this didn't come up. Oh, did oh. oh did not come up. Uh, that from a moment ago, Katie Pavlich, Fox News contributor, editor of townhall.com. And Katie, good morning to you. Just, morning. you know, take us to 35,000 feet. How do you view this right now? Because we're about 14 hours in. Well, the Harris campaign has tried very hard to keep Joe Biden off of the campaign trail. This is why, because they don't want these moments coming up that they very sloppily have to clean up and are not good at pivoting on immediately and getting them out of the news cycle. And she, I remember being on the five, I think it was the first week of August, when right after Joe Biden dropped out. And we talked about whether she would try and keep him away from her new campaign. And they've tried to do that. So you've already distanced yourself. Why would you not immediately come out and say, we condemn these comments, we don't appreciate them, we're trying to work for all Americans, but the credibility problem that they have is the Harris campaign in a matter of two days has tried to shift from calling Madison Square Garden a Hitler rally, the people there, Nazis, who were attending, and that the former president of the United States is a fascist and will end the Constitution, to her standing in Washington, D.C. yesterday saying she's going to be the unity candidate and bring everybody together. So. It really plays into this idea that she's not different from Joe Biden, and she didn't distance herself in an immediate way. And as you mentioned, Dana, she's in front of the plane. It's not clear what she's hear. saying. You can't hear anything. It doesn't have the seriousness mm -hmm. of actually condemning it. The other thing is that you, they can't have it both ways. Mm -hmm. Last week with Hallie Jackson on MSNBC, she said Joe Biden, she never saw any problems with him. He was copus mentis. He has great that, judgment. We could play, so could we can play that. Uh, call yeah, for two. Sure. If we have that, please. Can you say that you were honest with the American people about what you saw in those moments with President Biden as you were with him again and again, repeatedly in that time? Of course. Joe Biden is a, an extremely accomplished, um, experienced and, um, and, and capable in every way that anyone would want if they're president. And you never saw anything like... So they can't say, well, Biden's lost a step. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I got, kind of forgive the older guy for making a mistake and saying that because they've already said he's perfectly full of judgment and, and, he, and he said it and you know that he has an edge. Yeah. And so... Then, with the White House so clumsily, and I think unethically, trying to yes, fix that transcript yesterday and then trying to fix it, instead, she could have said, added on to this and say, he clarified it and he was right to, yeah. because it was wrong. And then, what's the White House going to do? Complain about her? Yeah. Right. Doubt it. It's just a, it's, it's this rolling dishonesty that you've seen. You've seen the vice president who was meeting with the former president for years, but especially over the past, you know, six months before the president dropped out of the 2024 race, saying that he's fine. His staff was lying to the American people, saying he's running circles around everybody, going to great lengths to discredit the Robert Hur special counsel report, where in black and white you could read about the or fact the they Wall didn't Street charge Journal's him. Annie Linsky. Exactly. Attacking reporters who are talking about this and reporting on what we could all clearly see. And now they've, they've taken the strategy of trying to continually fake these things, which is what they did with the transcript. Oh, well, if we just put an apostrophe in the text, then people can't see the actual mm -hmm. video and think for themselves. Same is and true. And they've done that on a lot Katie, of different Same issues. is true on that Biden tweet. Exactly. Yep. The word supporter is singular exactly. as opposed to yeah. plural. Yep. And he, we, and the, we all saw it. We all heard it. It was on camera. It's a, it's a disrespect to people who are watching and to voters who are looking at the future of the country, trying to make their final decision. And they think, if I just add an apostrophe, maybe they won't notice what has actually been it, said it's about It's dishonest. That. It is. It's not, okay. it's not right. I, I want to play not. this. This is Josh Shapiro, the governor of Pennsylvania, a Democrat last night. He was asked about it on CNN. I would never um, insult the good people of Pennsylvania or, or, or any Americans, even if they chose to support a candidate 
uh, that I didn't support. I think President Biden will decide what he wants to say. It, it's certainly not words that I would choose. Said a moment ago, I strongly disagree. The work I do is about representing the Americans. Good answer. She was asked, do you sympathize with the voters if they were offended? She did not say yes or no. Last comment. The vice president's one of her biggest problems as a candidate has been that she does not have the coalition behind her that the Democrats typically have. They are leaving the Democratic Party and they're going over to Donald Trump. And if you're trying to keep those people on the Democratic side to vote for you, you don't want to insult them that way like Biden did and not distance yourself when you're really trying to keep as many voters in your camp as possible when they are looking at the other direction. And this is how Trump won in 2016. He was able to bring new people into the Republican Party. You saw that this week, especially at Madison Square Garden with the diversity of people who were in the room and on the stage. And so that's one of her biggest issues and for her not to completely disown it. Um, is just going to show people that, well, maybe I'm interested in the guy who's welcomed me to the party. I think it's going to live on for a bit here, right? Great to have you here. Uh, Thank thanks, you. Katie. Nice to see you. You too. All right. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.